Hello everyone and welcome to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are continuing with our fraught missions launched last time. Well, the dart was more fraught than anything else. And so, yep, yeah, we have our alarms there, but the dart is first. And so we're going to time warp here and then jump to it. And then Duna Station will have its mid-course adjustment after that. Now, right around here, we probably had a good time to transfer to Drez, but I didn't see any Drez contracts yet. We could bring somebody back, but otherwise we don't have any planetary possibilities yet. So I think we'll just focus on the Duna thing. So I'll keep an eye on that if there are contracts to fulfill, like, uh, I think we have Jewel stuff to do, obviously. We always have Jewel stuff to do. Now, this might not get everybody that we were intending to get back because we do have to reserve fuel so we'll grab as many people as possible but maybe it's better if we don't overload it with Kerbals on its first try all right I think we should be close enough probably well we're a little bit far away but I'll just flatten it out there So, I don't think Duna Mission 2 is... Oh, we've got a little possible encounter there. Maybe it was. You just see. Are we trying to get to Duna Mission 2? Because it seems like we could, probably. That seems to be complicated. There's a Ike encounter there. We did want to pick up people from Ike. Maybe we should just go to Ike. <laughs> we'll leave that be for now. And so... Adding an alarm. Let's call it dart maneuver again. Okay, so now on to the other mission, as this one seems to be all set. Okay, a mere 2.2 .2 meters per second here. Okay, we better start turning now. Let's close that one. Okay, burning to correct. Woo! Alright, a little bit out. Alright, that'll be fine for a station, so it has its own maneuver to do. And its maneuver is next. It looks like we might be getting a jewel window here. Right about there will do. Okay, so let me review what we need to do at Jewel and see whether we can launch something. We will take the opportunity that is afforded by having the alarm clock. We will do many things. So, we needed to have a Val space station, a Paul space station, and a Jewel space station. I don't know if we can have the same one be all of them, but... They generally have the same requirements. You just need to get from one place to the other. And they all have the same requirement as the thing that we launched to Duna. So that makes things exceedingly easy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, maybe we'll send one of those over. It seems to have worked out pretty well. And maybe we'll send just one and see if it can do all three. Uh, having a space station in orbit around Jewel itself isn't so useful. Having it around Paul is okay. We have a drilling unit there already. Having it around Val is okay. Either one of those two is fine. We have the... I think we moved the drilling unit, right? So I don't think we have anything around uh, Paul right now. And we still need to do the return from a flyby of Paul contract. Which is funny, but... Uh, Returning to the surface of the cur of Kerbin is the problem, so... We eventually want to have stuff around everything. I don't see any point in having a dual space station, but a space station around each of the... Oh, we have this Paul driller ship there. Um, a space station around each of the moons of Jewel is a good idea. And... We have the fuel transfer vehicle there is what we moved. But... Yeah, we have, we have a Leif station, but not anything around the other moons, as far as stations are concerned. So, either one will do. Maybe we'll do two launches. 
but maybe I should change up the design a little bit. It's no fun having exactly the same design for each of them, right? We'll have unique ones, a sim similar core, but the rest of the layout might be more unique. All right, so obviously this is not a space station, but in the course of trying to make my Val space station into something unique, I decided that maybe I wanted a shuttle mouse. Now you might be familiar with this concept from my realism overhaul videos, but the idea is a little small, really tiny space plane designed to bring back the shuttle's main engines. Well, not the shuttle's main engines, the main engines on SLS. But yep, I've decided to try and make one in here. Is this enough lifting body? It only has to re-enter, right? It doesn't have to take off or anything and uh, land safely. But is this enough? I'm not sure, really. I don't know how much wing we need. It's seven tons right now, but then, uh, and the center mass looks really far forward here, but it's supposed to drain this fuel. This is the orbit fuel. So yeah, if it needs to deorbit, it can drain that. And then the center mass goes like this and this relationship might be good enough, might be good enough. We have a pretty powerful reaction wheel in this Mark II drone core. Uh, I've got the power, we've got three batteries here, counterbalancing an antenna over on this side, that's just a surface mount antenna, and so that's how we've got it set up, but yeah, this may work, I don't know, uh, we're only gonna try it once, obviously I wouldn't bring them back every time, or anything like that, we'll try it once and then every other time we'll say, okay, yeah, we'll deorbit them and we'll say that they're recovered or whatever, um, it, of course, we might want to do it for cost. This is 27,000. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do it at all, honestly. But um, the engine is 18,000, so, you know. Uh, I might want to have stage recovery in here. But then I don't know if stage recovery would understand this. There's, uh, we could attach parachutes instead of what we've got here, but even then I don't know if it'll understand. Um, so we've got these... Uh, I didn't put parachutes on here because uh, it would take at least two. I mean, uh, even drained, this is six tons. And we do have a drain valve just in case that we need to dump the fuel to make sure the center mass goes back. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, let me see, what was the mass of it? Five tons, five tons. Still something that needs like three parachutes. So either we went with at least two parachutes, 0.2 tons, or we used the landing gear, and uh, you can't see the nose landing gear because it's sort of tucked in, but we've got three landing gear, and it's a small landing gear, and so we've got three of these, and they're 0.045 tons a piece. Well, that's lighter than the parachutes, right? So as long as this can glide back down somehow, we save on mass, <laughs> basically. Uh, uh, yeah, whether this is a good idea or not, I don't know, but we'll give it a go. Let me subassembly it, and let me route to the stocking port. Okay, so shuttle mouse. Now the shuttle mice in Realism Overhaul were two to a single one, or sometimes three to a single little plane, which is more convenient, but we don't necessarily have the form factor that made me happy with that, so. Okay, so this was my Val space station. I haven't put the solar panels or anything like that on. So instead of having a separate docking hub, we've put the big docking ports directly on the hitchhiker storage container. So that's sort of our unity, but we've also got smaller ports here. And for crew, we uh, put a docking port on the cupola this time. They've got enough windows. They've got all the windows on the science lab. I don't know why scientists need windows, but anyway. but. Uh, uh, so here we have a shuttle mouse, and the shuttle mouse is supposed to attach itself Ooh. here. So right now, we've obviously got nuclear engines down here, the nerves, and they have locked fuel here, so that's reserved for them. And then we've got the fuel here and here that are feeding the shuttle mice, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot of delta V, does it? Hmm. A lot of thrust weight ratio though. So I guess we could pack more fuel. And then we'll have the empty space for more fuel, you see. So that might be a good thing. 
especially for anything that wants to do drilling and bring stuff over, and then we can depot it. Well, we're gonna maybe need liquid boosters for this. But we can carry more, we can carry more. The thrust weight ratio is sufficient. But then the delta V that we have remaining with the nerves is gonna be a problem. So we're gonna drain all this. Unlock that. And now how much do they have? 3,000. I sort of wanted them to have a little bit more than 3,000 because we're going to take 2,000 to transfer to Jewel. I guess 1,200 will be enough to get into orbit around Val, which is where this is going. Might be tight though. So, I mean, we're, we're, but we're getting there. We're, we're carrying all this extra tankage mass is the problem. But just having a separate stage sure makes it easier. 1.78 thrust weight ratio. So we're getting a lot of thrust. We're not getting a whole lot of anything else. Maybe we shouldn't even use these shuttle engines. The skipper would be fine, cheaper. And it has better vacuum specific impulse, not so much on the sea level. Nowadays we have the air skipper, but then the balance of our Little shuttle mice is gone then. Uh, wait, how how heavy is it? Three tons? That's four tons. Uh, might be better overall anyway. And we were limiting the gimbal on the shuttle main engines anyway. So that's 2,800. 1.18, but we were gonna have boosters anyway. Yeah, the skippers will be better here. The question is whether it's thrown off the aerodynamic balance of it. Well, let me just leave this like this and pop on back into the SPH and see what it looks like. Okay, so taking that off and putting a skipper on. And making sure it goes all the way to the end of the body flap. Alright, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty far. Not normally what I want. That looks like a dart to me. Not a whole lot else that can work very well and fit in here. There's the skiff, but... That doesn't do anything for our mass situation, really. We could make the skipper point poke out more, but that's about it. Or we could move the... Wing surfaces up. Have canards. Now, how does it always end up being canards? Uh, it could get all the way up here. Maybe we'll just go with the enormous thrust and take the vector engines. Okay, back to vector. Okay, well, we're gonna need some interesting boosters then. And let's not forget the solar panels before I do that. Let's see. Science Lab. One of the following power generators. Does it? I don't think it has a power generator. It's checkmarked that, but... It's, oh, I... No, there's no solar panels or anything. So, I don't know. These... I wish these... Circular ones were bigger. I'd totally use them if they were huge. But no, they had to make them tiny. Let's just use mainsails. Probably overkill. We've already got too much thrust to weight ratio. Maybe we shouldn't use mainsails because we have so much thrust to weight ratio. Skippers? The skippers got. Well, we can cross feed. We can do that very Kerbal thing and cross feed. Okay, now we've got the delta V. And certainly the thrust to weight ratio. Not as fancy a solar panel arrangement as on the other one, with its trusses and everything. Okay, well, it's giving me all the good numbers here. Now we just need to put septrons. Well, I can do all the things. Oh, we removed the controller. Oh, I almost forgot. 
because the controller was on the truss on the other thing. We need a new controller. Put it right there. We'll pretend it's like a ring, like the Saturn instrument unit, and they can pass through it. I mean, why not? Okay, so... Yep. Will this ambitious Val station with its shuttle mice work? Let's find out. Uh, let's make sure no Kerbal snuck on. And now let's find out. I sure hope I don't have any weird stuff. We've got all the aerodynamics down here, darn it. It should be fine. <laughs> so, all right. We really need to do more asteroid stuff. I, get to, I picked the B612 flag, and we need to do more asteroid things. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up. And that's not a whole lot of mob propellant. Pack, well, we'll have expansions. They didn't ask for any. And launch. Smooth as silk. Uh, it's a bit wobbly. I auto strutted already. Come on. We're probably already overshooting quite a lot. Let me try and force it down a bit. Okay, booster set. Gotta remember we've. Uh oh. Uh, that's the limit of those. We've gimbal limited these. But taking away their most interesting feature, we've got plenty of Delta V. Now we actually must drain the oxidizer from this. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. Oh, fuel priority wasn't right. And so, we don't have a fuel drain valve on the station itself, so we'll use the fuel drain valve here, hopefully. Okay, let's stop there and coast. Oh, we have a lack of comms. Gosh darn it, I forgot all the things. The comms were on the bottom portion, too. Hmm. Hold on there. We're going to need to fix this up. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the, the comms were on the... We put everything on the truss on the other one, on the Duna station. Okay, we are in orbit, but we need to get a Kerbal up here to slap on an antenna. We probably should have a vehicle that can do that more regularly, just in case. Or we could just claw an antenna to it, but that's not elegant. And we want this station to look good. We don't want to have a claw module on it, right? Um, how quick is the fuel drain going to be? see green okay oh it's not on vessel right okay good okay it looks like the lock parts might be safe from the drain okay all right well right now this is our only way to control this so we'll keep the shell mice here for now and let's get the antenna up here. Ah, right. I have sort of hit a snag in that we don't actually have Kerbals. So, 300,000. I guess we'll have to hire one. Uh, let's see. Sonwell, Mildock. We need an engineer, of course. Tom. Well, that's a promising name for an engineer. Um, okay. We will take Tom. All right, now I can cook something up. I can't believe how mean they are. The Communitron 88-88 just barely cannot fit into the Mark I command pod. 60 liters instead of 50 liters. So I have to use the this cargo part instead. No, construction only part. Well, I guess we can't do that. Those are pretty big, huh? That Cumutron HG55 is actually lighter than the Cumutron 88-88, but its volume is huge. Okay, well I guess we'll just go with this. 
Okay, I've kept this super simple and call it Simple Patcher. We've got our Kerbal Tom Kerman in there and we are going to see if it works. Um, why does it suddenly read no... none of anything? <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Oh, why? I don't know why all my numbers went away. They were there before. I've done something. Oh, now they're there. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Val Station is our target. We gotta wait for it to be right behind us. Okay, that should be good enough. All right. Battle up. SAS on. We do have a little controller at the top there. Ignition and launch. This was a very expensive Kerbal. Tom had better do good work here. I was thinking of Tom Mueller from SpaceX, the engineer who designed the Merlin engine or was part of the team. When picking Tom Kerman. I hope Tom will be as illustrious contributor to our space program. I don't suppose I could get rendezvous information around here. Advanced orbital. Not really. Okay, separation and ignition. Well, it's right there. Trying for a relatively painless encounter here. Got Delta V though, okay, well that'll have to do it. Much time? Got 50 seconds of burn time. We don't need all 50 seconds. Okay, let's start here. Alright, we are now in render range. Okay, stop! We don't have any RCS or anything. Uh... Oh, too much. This might be a good time to... limit the thrust of the Terrier. figure we need to get close. I think, all right, um, that will be a bad axis to turn around in. Okay. Okay, let's have Tom EVA. Okay, better to just be free floating here. No, open. Uh, just grab that. Oh, I guess we have to be in engineering mode. Engineering mode. No, no, not that. Put it there. That should be fine, right? Uh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Hold on. There. And it's in line with other stuff. There's nothing counterbalancing it on the other side, but it's not that heavy, and the reaction wheel on the cupola should be powerful enough, I think. All right, up, 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 and board. All right, and we're off. Let's just go over here, extend that antenna. We could have put two antennas on. A little blossom on the side. It's like wearing a flower in its hair or something. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, we'll bring Tom down first and then we'll work on little shuttle mice. I was supposed to get those things into orbit around Duna, but I think I've gotten sidetracked here. Typical. Alright, we'll try and bring Tom down as close to the KSC as possible. Oh, you know what? 
before I forget, let's just get the solar panels out here. Okay, now proceeding with Tom. And retrograde does push us away from the station, the valve station, so that's good. Okay, normal. Separation. It's just a quick and easy mission. We're not trying for anything spectacular here. I'll increase the minimum pressure and arm the chute. And actually, let's reduce the altitude a bit. All right. We're going to overshoot a bit. Still sort of in view of the KSC anyway. Okay, parachute pre-deployment is good. We have full parachute deployment going slowly. Come on, hurry up there. Jeez, it takes too long. Seven hundred is about the minimum for that thing. All right, and splash down and recover. So Tom's back after a picture perfect mission, as far as we know. All right, so yeah, I got totally sidetracked here. We are going to try out one of these little shuttle mice this time, and we'll conclude with that. And then next time we'll transfer this over to Jewel. Of course, it'll be on its way while. The Duna missions are arriving at Duna, and, well, it's gotten all complicated because of the alarm system, but that's how it ought to be. So, we're busy. But let's try these out. Um, let's see. This one we'll just dispose of. Okay. Uh, so, we would like... No, this one, yeah, we'll just dispose of it. The other one is the one we will, we will test. So, for the purposes of this... That's orbit retrograde? Okay, uh, how does this con control from here instead? There we go. That's because it was controlling from the docking port. And actually, let's make sure that we're pointed down. It won't hurt too much. So that's just a guaranteed disposal of this. Now the one we'll actually test, we will wait until we're at a good deorbit position first. Okay. Hopefully comms will be good. That's a tricky part. It's only got a small surface mount antenna. Pushed off a little bit. Okay, great, but it's not got control from the right thing, control from here instead. Well, that's good. And we can wait a little bit. We actually have to align it manually, so we have to have comms when it plans to hit the surface. The Mark II drone core has very good pitch torque, less so roll and yaw. So we can be hopeful of keeping our nose up here. We can purge the fuel now. We don't expect to use it, I think. <laughs> we could purge it once we actually land, but I mean, right before we land, that's an option. But let's just go with, oh, it has, it. oh gosh, it imparts a thrust. Okay, well, anyway, get back around there. It is apparently not non-propulsive. Oh, we are using some pitch here. But we really don't need to be pitched up 50 degrees. Could have done with air brakes. Oh, we don't have com comms. Oh, that's probably because of plasma, though. We we're certainly close enough to the KSC, and our antenna should work after we get through plasma. There we go. 
okay. Try and slow down. I think we can just plunge down. Oh yeah, let's just plunge down here. Uh, locked camera view would be good. Uh. Gonna do some S turning, sort of. Have I actually landed on the runway from orbit in this series at all? I don't even remember. Hmm, I don't really like SAS at this point. It makes it so it doesn't fly like a plane. It's very stiff. How well I can pull the nose up in time. I don't know what the stall speed of this is. I figure it's got a pretty high stall speed, right? And a gear down. You gotta prep the brakes. Brakes? Brakes? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, wow, it's got more lift than I thought. <laughs> oh, 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 we bounced. Oh, and we're pirouetting, and we've lost everything. Ah, uh, <laughs> maybe that wasn't the best camera view. We got the engine back, though, on the runway. Take that. <laughs> oh, dear. It works. I mean, if it was drone controlled, it'd be fine. No problems. But yeah, you'll have to tell me, uh, do you think stage recovery in uh, this version would understand that? If we decouple it, would it understand it coming back through the atmosphere? Uh, if so, maybe I'll add it. But if it doesn't understand and wouldn't count that as a recovered vessel, I don't know. I, I think we'll lay off on that for now. But parts, we got, we got recovered parts and 100% at the runway. So, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.